Right, so we're just going to do this quick presentation video. I'm going to do this on the correct score. There's a lot of members like this one. Just going to show you how to boost it. I've done a similar kind of thing before, and you can find the videos on my playlist or on Patreon. So now we'll just move on to the next one. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a home team favourite. So a strong home team favourite. You want Betfair, if you're on Betfair, to be predict predicting under three and a half goals and low chance of a draw. And wanting to achieve about 1.5 or over return on investment. So if you have a look at this firstly, you'll see that Madrid is the favourite on this one. Where are we? Austria. There you go. It is the favourite on this one. And the under three and a half goals is favoured as well. So this kind of thing we're looking at and same with the draw. So this is the kind of game we're looking at. So if you look at the chart what I've drawn here, so we're looking at this area. The under three and a half. So if we're favouring the home team, we're wanting scores like 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, that kind of thing, and that keeps you under that three and a half goals. So this little chart, by the way, I do have this on my Patreon account for members. It's an handy little thing to look back on. It does both teams to score and everything else. I explain how to use it. So, yeah, I mean, we're looking in this area. And these are what we want to be looking at, these score lines. But because we're favouring the strong favourite, playing at home, we're just going to go for like the 1 0, 2 1, 2 0. So, as you can see, I've already put it into this on this screenshot. So, I put £10 in on this one, just nice, you know, not too uh, hefty one, what people can afford. And on this, we're looking at about 1.8 return on investment because. His liability is like just under £10. And as you can see, we're about £18, £19 up on that, which is good. If these score lines come in, the 1 0. But what you can do with this, what you're wanting to do is, depending on the time of the game, when one of the teams scores, hopefully Madrid comes in with the first goal, depending on what time it is, depends on how the odds move. If it's really early in the game, then the they're going to predict another goal or another, quite another few goals. So that just depends how odds go. And the 1.0 could actually go the other way rather than come in. But obviously, if it's a bit later in game, then this is going to come in nicely. And these are going to come in. So if we move on to the next slide, what you can do if there's a goal and the, uh, the odds come in and the 1.0 in your favour, then you can take some out. As you can see on this one, the, by the way, these haven't changed on here because this game hadn't started when I did this uh, screenshot. It's just an example. So what I'm showing you is if the odds did drop, let's say around about five, you could take some out, leaving you kind of like a scratch trade on your one nil and leaving you more on the two nil two one. So you're now in a good position and you're looking at 4.2 return on investment. So you can see how it's lowered your liability down to like £5.50. Yet yeah, you've got more on these score lines if they come in. And even though this is quite low on this one, your cash out is still going to be a good price on this. So you could even consider cashing out at some point now. So, yeah, that's the best way of doing these. And you can have a play around. I mean, you can have a play around with some, like I've done on this to show you, before the game starts, you can have a play around with the prices and, and just get an idea. But yeah prices in and then put in this kind of thing, you know, just to see what you could get in or out if the prices change. Bear in mind these change as well. These will have come down as well, especially 2-0. So, uh, yeah, you could even take a bit out of these as well. It's not so play around, but I do explain these kind of trades in more detail on another video. But I'll just th show you this bit with the uh, forms that we use as well. These ones here, just for boosting your trades. So yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this short one. I'm going to be coming some more out soon. I've been busy, but I do want to get some more quality videos out. So uh, I'll see you for now.